number one in the video i'm going to discuss testing hypothesis about proportion and i am your teacher for the day sir paul jurel r santos and our objectives are first to compute or compute for the test statistic value or the population proportion second is to draw conclusion about the population proportion based on the test statistic value and the rejection region and last we have to solve problems involving test of hypothesis on the population proportion so that is our that are the targets or objectives for today and to give you a short background on our topic so let us have here okay for instance ne a researcher at Dasmarina City who is studying the growth of cat population wants to determine the proportion of male cats in the said city. Of course, she does not need to record or catch every cat and record its sex. It is too or it is not practical for her to do it. She just needs a part of the population enough sample rather where she will take her inference about the population of the cats so i have here a picture of cats on the right portion of the slides and at first uh, nay may believe that there are equal number of male and female cats suppose she performed a purposive sampling through observing at some barangay of the smarinas cavite she then obtained sample of 142 cats and as she count there are 77 uh, male cats the question here is would the data that she gathered supports her initial belief before we answer the, those questions let me present the z-test for population proportion and this is the formula okay um, here we have p hat as the sample proportion p sub zero is the hypothesized proportion and n is the sample size okay to give you a first example let us have compute the z for each given the hypothesized proportion sample proportion and the sample size so we are going to compute or use the formula to compute so we have here uh, the on the first one we have the hypothesized proportion as 0 0.4 p hot is or the sample proportion is 0 0.5 and the sample size is 60. for the second one we have uh, the hypothesized proportion is 0 0.8 sample proportion is 0 0.62 and the sample size is 40. now let us have or let us compute the first example z equals okay the formula p hot minus population or proportion hypothesis proportion i just removed the zero subscript but it is just the same so we have divided by p or square root of p multiplied by one minus p all over n so we have here uh, p hat as 0 0.5 p as 0 0.4 p as 0 0.4 multiplied by one minus 0 0.4 because P is 0 0.4 and n 60. So after replacing, we have we just need a calculator and then input this in our calculator and it will give us z is approximately equal to 1.58, rounded off into two decimal places. So let us have the second example. Okay, so we have here uh, the formula and as we substitute the given formula or the variable in the given formula by their values we have this 0 0.62 minus 0 0.8 all over 0 0.8 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.8 all over 40 so it is just a mere substitution and 
using our calculator, we can arrive at the answer Z equals or Z is approximately equal to negative 2.85. Rounded, uh, this one is also rounded off into two decimal places. Okay, so these are the answers for the value of Z in our first example.